some of my country people, the Chief Justice of this petition tribunal that is currently going on by name Justice Haruna Samani has come out to promise Nigerians that justice must prevail at the end of this petition, that everything must go accordingly and the mandates of the people must be recovered. Why some Nigerians are saying that let it not be like the promise made by Yakubu Mohammed for, you know, the INEC chairman for all the promises he made that never came to pass. Again, on the other hand, you guys are going to also be watching a gathering of lawyers where they are trying to make a meeting and agree with one voice to speeding up this case so that everything will come to conclusion before the inauguration, which we do not know. In the meantime, just watch the video and hear for yourself. <laughs> so, um, I can say that the court has been overtaken by the by lawyers, members of the public, not to give the dignity. I, by what I'm watching, they, as usual, we already have prepared the corporate law lawsuits, the division, by a state. What I'm watching is saying that that has played a very assistant of our nation. We as lawyers are not mindful of that. We are not aware of our responsibilities as members of the government. I want to assure you that we are going to be about our official support of that. Whatever the court want to do, accelerate all the matters we are ready and prepared to give the court and support. I think I speak on behalf of all our colleagues here, irrespective of the ones we are going to decline or what the ones we are going to support. Just stop it. Just this is the one thing. We want to do. What they can do. The attainment of those of us who are going to go and to give us the support. My name is uh, Obed Ago. I represented the Action People's Party, APP, which filed petition number two, that's CA slash PEPC slash 02 slash 2023. And the integrity of the petition we filed, it's to the extent that uh, the election is marred with corrupt practices. The, the respondents in our petition, which includes uh, Bola Ahmed Tinibu and APC, the, he, he, he in person is not qualified in the first place to contest for the election. This is the integrity of our petition. And exactly what was spared in court there is just the pre-hearing session that we had today. The, ordinarily, the procedure is such that we made application for form TF008, and in that application, questions are asked and we answered the questions. But basically, one of the um, questions which triggered the court this morning was the answer I gave to question number eight, which actually was asking what would I want the tribunal or court to do? And we said in the affirmative, let the courts ask the petition, the respondents to concede to defeat, considering the weight of evidence against them. That is exactly what happened in court today. So it's Mm -hmm. No, not at all. We are not taking that part. Uh, however, you know that I'm a lawyer. I, I have the consent of my clients, however it is. So if going forward, they give me an instruction, I will take the instruction. But as of today, we are going on and we are strongly coming back on the 10th of May. That's Wednesday. That's Wednesday for the continuation of the pre hearing session. So that means for now, we are going full hog. My name is Obed O Ago. O is initials. 
It stands for Okupe, Obed, Okupe Ago, Esquire. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. We are very happy that at last uh, the sitting of the court has started with this inauguration. And uh, as you see, the court committed itself to cooperate and ensure that uh, these petitions are expeditiously dealt with. And on our part, all the lawyers for all the parties also uh, committed themselves to cooperating with the tribunal, the court, to make sure that uh, these matters are dealt with urgently because of uh, their national importance. So we're very happy today. Three uh, petitions have been dealt with and two uh, to come up tomorrow. And the very important ones, the Atiku and PDP uh, petition will be coming up tomorrow. So we'll be back here tomorrow for the continuation of the prayer session. Minister, you learned that you've got an application seeking for life coverage of no seed. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow because um, our matter will come up tomorrow. By tomorrow we'll be able to address Let's get to the bridge. We we'll are we'll able to address you fully on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, we have started. We started on a very good note. Um, I believe you were here and had what you said. You replied to the statement by the presiding uh, justice of uh, this uh, court. Maybe let me repeat myself. I said that the decision to be rendered will impact on Nigeria's electoral jurisprudence, judicialism, and constitutionalism. It's very, very important that this is, this, is, this is made known, because one way or the other, I do not think that it is business as usual, as far as Nigeria's electoral jurisprudence is concerned. And uh, we have assured the court that we will do all, all that we can to ensure that these petitions are had expeditiously because everybody is anxious, waiting for the outcome of the hearing. Nigerians are anxious, most Nigerians are anxious. I believe that they will enjoy what is going to happen here. Robust advocacy, you can be sure of that. Thank you very much. Oh, my God.